Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Here we go. We are ready. So your energy is the word. King of Pentacles. King of Swords. And the star. Your person's energy is the Sun, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Chariot, meeting energies, Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Cups, our focus, Ten of Cups, bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords, a little bit of monkey mind, racing thoughts, uh, it's like some of you have left behind an old chapter of your life you can be in a good position to be honest king of pentacles king of swords it's like you are aiming at a star all of a sudden this person can enter in your life and they can realize that you can be the star that can guide the chariot so if the two of you for whatever reason felt stuck in the journey well plot twist this can be a new connection because this person can make you quite an offer it can go the distance granted the fact that you can share the same mindset eight of pentacles and love can grow guys this person has been waiting for a chance like this one it is fair to say that maybe they were looking for uh, someone like you if we think about a fair companion stuck in the mud which is the eight of swords on an energy level coming to life new connection coming to life making a choice there is free will but this can be an opportunity that deserves attention. Dragon's Lair. No need to rush the process, guys, especially if in the past the two of you have been challenged by um, connections in the love arena that were not ideal. Uh, maybe not exactly satisfying and fulfilling. The Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords combination of energies in this flow uh, kind of vibes like uh, oh my goodness can I find the person for me type of mentality you know if not for you maybe for your potential new person it's like a thinking process but not necessarily one that uh, we have to fall for heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect Bottom of the deck, mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Maybe in the beginning there can be like the necessity to understand if the new connection can truly be trusted, which is fine. So let's find out more, let's see for your person. Let's see the Seven of Pentacles first. Waiting, a standby, kind of waiting for the right person. Two of Swords, blocking love a little bit. Consciously, consciously. Justice, right and fair decision for this person. Um, they can be divorced. Maybe they tried to go down the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles road, it didn't work for them in the past, now they want to do things right. Let's see the Sun, because it can be about clarity, and it can be an energy that can facilitate uh, the opportunity to understand something extremely important. Hanged Man, let's talk about enlightenment. A standby, another one but all of a sudden there can be a change of mind the change of mind 
is associated to the opportunity to share the Ace of Pentacles offer. So let's go for it. Seven of Pentacles and the Temperance. This person can have the patience of a monk, but it seems that they can be reliable enough when it comes to the opportunity to build a connection from the ground up. So, not too bad so far. Let's see your perspective, guys. Uh, what about the word? Three of Cups, Knight of Cups. Uh, some of you have put a closing point on connections that uh, were just about the fun side, you know? And now it's like you are looking for uh, fulfillment in the love arena, the Knight of Cups. It can even be your mindset, but we know that it takes two to tango, so love has to be shared in an equal and balanced way. It's like you are looking for a life partner now. So let's see. Let's see the King of Swords because it can be more vocal than the King of Pentacles. And the King of Swords is also the ability to connect all the dots when it comes to a particular situation. Super smart, super intelligent. Kudos to you. Seven of Wands, a little bit selective, guys. No judgment coming from me. Um, simply because experiences can justify the decision to say, look, thanks, but I am not interested in a connection if I realize that is not the one that I am looking for. So... Um, no issue with that. This person might uh, be truly able to find the proper key to open your heart. The Four of Cups wanted to come out. It came out in reverse. So guys, there can be the opportunity to say yes to an offer. Let's consider the energy, even if uh, we do not do reverse uh, in these rounds of uh, readings. Let's see the star. Eight of Cups, uh, looking for emotional fulfillment, but without uh, giving up hope, which is super important. Three of Wands, expectations are waiting. You have been waiting for the sun. This person can be quite an individual that can uh, play a role in your life. Four of Swords, you can think about the opportunity, guys. Uh, no need to rush the process, but what if it works? Let's see the Eight of Pentacles in the meeting. And also the Eight of Swords. The Moon, something yet to be discovered, yet to be revealed. We have the Moon in the background of the Two of Swords and also in the background of the Eight of Cups. This connection has to be explored, guys, but, you know, something positive can come up. Ten of Cups, our focus. What if you can find what you are looking for? And this can be true for the two of you. Let's see the Eight of Swords because it can be the stuck in the mud oracle card, as we have already shared. So it can even be an obstacle because our mind, considering the Nine of Swords, um, can mess a little bit with us. And again, this can speak uh, about the two of you, maybe. Even if it is just a matter of doubts, you know? Can I find the person for me? As we have shared. Strand card. A matter of trust, a matter of patience. Uh, Let's not rush things. Uh, let's take the connection slow, one step at a time. Ace of Wands, new spark, and the full leap of faith. So, guys, coming to life. This can be exciting, I have to say that. And um, the communication flow can gain momentum all of a sudden. It's like a pleasure for the two of you uh, to interact with each other then the connection can um, 
take steps forward because you can get to know each other more and more. Uh, this can be an extremely important process in order to clear the potential doubts that maybe the two of you can have because of the past. Dragon's Lair, can I trust this new person? Let's find out. And this connection can be a promising one, guys. This is kind of encouraging, to be honest. There is free will. Uh, the two of you might have to make a choice, kind of together, in order to give a chance, a real chance, to this connection. But the energies overall are kind of auspicious. It's like we have to get the ball going, you know? Because then the connection can, um, can take off by itself in a natural way and it's also possible that the two of you can see in each other uh, the person that you were truly looking for and this can be quite an encouragement guys to be honest do not rush the process I would say but do not jump also to the conclusion that if previous connections didn't work this one can be just the same old song because it doesn't seem to be the case there can be there can be something good at hand and it can be deserving to be explored as a new connection so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.